Springtime in Denver. No timeouts. LeBron, long range. No it's over. The sounds over the last few years are a bit different and a bit stressful. I think people live for that stress. Gus Reynolds is a huge fan of art. Watching the Nuggets is definitely more stressful. And the Nuggets, but says this year is different. These games are a little more stressful than they were last year when the expectations were the same. Oh yeah, last night it was stressful. Across town at Ball Arena, the stress is being managed perhaps by a little shopping. We are, we can be yeah. a Jamal shirt. <laughs> we want to remember remember that moment of that stress we felt. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a spectacular uh, series of games. Harvey Milkman with MSU of Denver says the kind of stress we get from sports at this level should be monitored, but there are good things that come from it. And if somebody is carrying a lot of stress with them and then the added stress of this, it could push them uh, over the edge in a way. So. People have to monitor their own stress levels. It's wonderful uh, in the short term that it, it may, we feel more energized and more, but it, of course it can interfere with our sleep as well. Stress has many looks, but if it consists of winning games and possibly championships, this town could probably handle it. When they make the shot and they actually win, the satisfaction feels like it's worth the stress. And beating the Lakers is ultimately like the best feeling in the world, right? LeBron, long range, no time.